guys, today I have a different kind of video for me, if you can tell by the title. This isn't something that I do a lot, but I am going to start a playlist of empties, project pan, and then get ready with me's. Hopefully you guys like this kind of content and will continue to watch. And if you have any other ideas, let me know. I have been writing down ideas, like I know I want to do a palette bingo at some point top five or top 10 products and such. And yeah, that's kind of where my, you know, uh, channel is heading. I want to use more of what I have and spend less. I did a full get ready with me today. I don't have the wig on in my video, but I just went on a rant and chit chatted about the beauty community, my whole journey here on YouTube, and just the reasons why I want to use more of my stash, basically. And if you aren't following me on Instagram, follow me down below. I am going to be doing more shop my stash, kind of like everyday makeup, um, flat lays, and showing the makeup that I do, if you're interested in that. And also, hopefully I will start doing reels I want to buy kind of like a better stand that is more portable for me and easier to use to do reels with. So if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. Okay, so let's jump into what is going to be my project pan for 2022 and also my low buy for 2022. I don't know if I should do these separately or just kind of update you because the low buy is basically just me not buying a shit ton of stuff. I want to basically really reduce the amount of things that I'm buying, really be ticky Mickey, extremely picky about what I want to buy. And also I thought about doing like not buying kind of videos. We'll see. I'm going to try to do one today and see how that goes and see if you guys like that. But basically like what's coming out and why I'm not going to buy it. I've seen that kind of video and I really enjoy those. So I thought I'd put my little two cents in as well. And yeah, so my low buy rules for this year is that it's got to be something that really calls my name, whether it be because of packaging, because I am like a huge Disney fan, or, you know, it's like a special formulation, special kind of colors, or that kind of just to it. But for the most part, I really want to wait a couple days after I see a collection uh, and really think about if it's something that I'm going to use or if I have something similar in my collection. So that's just part of the rules that I'm kind of telling my Myself, just so I don't get hyped up because a lot of people I feel like that's something that you fall into is like the hype of oh my god so and so's launching this look at this look at the video that they their promo video you know so they really hype you up and really make you think like oh my god I need that and then people start reviewing it like I just got this today oh my god it's amazing and then you <laughs> end up buying it and then you're like eh. Yes. And that's kind of what I want to restrain myself from and really start using what I have. Um, so yeah, so basically that's going to be my low buy rules is to just kind of really think about what I'm going to buy and also give myself some time when I see a collection come out before I even like jump on it. I don't want to be one of those people who's like rushing onto the website to buy it especially with ColourPop. I feel like ColourPop, and I've talked about this previously, their stuff, like literally I rush to get a lot of these like limited edition uh, Hocus Pocus, uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas, and then like a week later it was 50% off, which is highly annoying. So it's like, why am I rushing to get these when then they're on sale all the time? And that happens with a lot of brands. Uh, so that's just something to take into account if you're kind of on this same journey that I am. Okay. As far as my project pan, this is going to be like a rolling project pan, which means that if I finish something, then I will replace it with something else and then just keep it going. I do have a huge, huge collection. I just recorded a collection video today. And so I can't really neglect the rest of my collection. So I will be pairing these things with other things. And you'll see that on my Instagram flat lays that some of my project pans will be in there some days and then some days they won't, or they will be like in combination with another product just so I can get use of other products as well. Because if I was only like, for example, I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation in my project pan. If I was only to use this, but then I have like 40 other foundations, I'm, you know what I mean? 
mean like it kind of takes away the point of actually using the stuff in my collection so I'll probably and I do that a lot with foundations like I mix two three foundations sometimes just to kind of give it a different um, you know texture and look to the skin as well as the shade itself like sometimes if the foundation is a little too dark for me a little too light I will mix it with one that's vice versa of it uh so yeah so the first thing is that it's going to be a rolling one i will be popping in products as i use them up or if i feel like the uh, formulation or it doesn't work for me then i will declutter it at some point and let you guys know i am going to uh, be doing a lot of empties as well so hopefully you guys like that kind of video and doing mini like quick reviews of the products and my thoughts on them. Um, another one of the rules is that um, I basically am not panning anything as far as eyeshadows go. I will be trying to use up like powders and pressed powders and such um, but as far as like uh, bronzers highlights and blushes I just feel like it's very very hard to use those products up and I have so many in my collection that if I was just to focus on one I really wouldn't be using my collection if that makes any sense as well as with eyeshadows um, I am trying to use various eyeshadows and I wish I could hit pan on them but to be honest I'm one person and I have over a hundred palettes and it is almost impossible for me to humanly do that and I don't want to be one of these people who just like scrapes out the pan and be like oh look I hit pan no I really want to use it up and actually get my money's worth not just pretend that I'm using stuff up because I've had I have seen like I've been starting to watch a lot of project pan videos or if you have any channel suggestions or if you're a channel like that leave your channel down below so I can go subscribe to you but I've been watching a lot of those videos and there are people who say that there are people who like you can tell that they physically wouldn't be able to use that much product but um, they do pan it um so i don't want to be like a fake panner i want to actually use stuff as i can use it and i know that those three categories it's going to be really hard will i try yes but am i going to put it into a project and like kind of give myself that anxiety of oh my god i gotta use it to, to show people progress no also with this project panning like i want it to be more fun and fluid for me i don't want it to feel like it's a chore like i have to show some kind of progress like i want to be completely honest with you guys like hey look this is what i was able to use or you know i didn't really like the formulation i'm taking this out and putting this other one in so hopefully you guys like that and follow me on this journey and we're gonna go ahead and jump into what products I'm actually going to start out with. I first tried to pick out products that are kind of old-ish in my foundation in my collection, and I want to use up. So this is the oldest foundation that I have in my collection right now, and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hill Luminous Foundation. I really, really enjoy this, and because it's luminous, I can actually mix this with a lot of more matter foundations and make them work for me. I do have more mature, uh, not normal to a little bit dry skin and so I do like a luminous finish and starting out with this one will be great because I can also mix in more matte foundations and use those up at the same time that I'm using this one up so I did mark where it is I kind of shook it up a little bit so it looks like it's full but it's actually about like midway through the next product that I am gonna do for my project pan is the Urban Decay All Nighter this is another one that's halfway through and um, it's pretty old in my collection so I really want to use it up it's probably around halfway full and um, yeah I just want to see if I can really get my money's worth another one that I've been working on basically since the beginning like since the end of last year but I wanted to actually add it into here is the Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow this is still in really really great condition it still smells good it's kind of old but I don't feel like it's rancid and it does do what it's intended for and it still works the same way so that's why I'm still keeping it I did mark where it's at right now and this is more of a very glowy shimmery base I used it today in my get ready with me and I absolutely freaking love this I love this kind of base for my foundation or even mixing it with foundation just ugh, just beautiful glowy I love that whole look and if you're older I feel like it just really helps give you a younger um, look to your face as well 
The next product is something that is uh, really down to almost the bottom. I have to mark it. Let me go ahead and mark it on here. But this is the Olay Hendrickson Banana Bright face primer and another one that's very glowy i love the smell of this really nice smell to it it has vitamin c and it really gives a glow to the skin and it also has skincare in here as well and then i have the mac prep and prime light boost i don't know why i can't freaking use this up but i've had this for quite some time it's the oldest concealer that i have in my collection it is a very light very uh, brightening tone and i feel like i can mix it in with other concealers to brighten them up and so hopefully i will finish this puppy up i really can't um you know tell how much is left in here but hopefully by the time it and you know like I, I will notice when I when I start clicking and it doesn't go up anymore or anything comes out that's when it will be finished and then the last product is something that I feel like I kind of stopped using because I love it so much is that and that's like the stupidest thing and I feel like a lot of us fall into that where it's like oh I love this and I don't want it to finish but um, just watching a lot of videos uh, recently a lot of people when they give their tips and tricks with Pot project pan it's like why aren't you using it up it's gonna expire like if you really love it then you would use it up so that's where my mindset is I really want to use it up even if I absolutely love it and kind of don't want it to end um it's like if i start using up my products then maybe i will be able to actually repurchase the stuff that i love and this is the photo filter powder foundation i use this to set my fa my face a lot i absolutely love it i actually had hit pan on it as you can see there and i have little to go um and i feel like starting out with products that i have already decreased a lot will help me stay motivated as far as the project pan um so those are the the products that i want to get out faster are the ones that are about to expire or they're older and this is one of these powders that just absolute and sorry for i always say these like with a spanish accent it's like my puerto ricans trying to come out of me um but i absolutely love this powder it leaves like a very satin look to the skin it's absolutely beautiful i've used it on its own just to give like a out you know like a no makeup look to leave out the door it's one of my top top favorites is this smashbox one and they're probably Products as far as like powders foundations their complexion products are absolutely amazing I've said this time and time again and I feel like people don't talk about it enough but I'm in the shade 3 and I just really want to finish this up and um, be done with it and then be able to start on a new powder and those are basically the products in my project pan i'm going to keep this in um i'm hoping to get like a smaller little tray i'm probably going to put it in a clearer tray to keep here in front of my um desk just to kind of really pop them into the rest of my makeup and like i said i really want to use as many palettes as i can declutter the ones that i see that really i don't get really good looks from or i don't like the formulation as well as with like blushes bronzers and such so you will see that along the lines um i'll probably pop in declutter videos as well through here or empties and let me know what your thoughts are what are you panning and if you are doing a project pan and have a youtube channel leave it down below i'd love to follow your journey as well i just really want to kind of get into this community of spend less use more be more selective and stop wasting products so if you're with me on this i'd love to have you subscribe if you want to kind of follow me on this journey and yeah thank you guys so much for watching for subscribing and my instagram is down below if you want to see more content over there and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye, guys.